the top 10 reasons that the Mars project will fail. Number 10, the flight trajectory for Mars and corrective maneuvers. Trajectory correction maneuvers are conducted after or before a ship reaches an important milestone of its mission. They don't usually accelerate or decelerate the ship, but slightly, slightly just alter its trajectory. On the surface of Mars, there is no such facility available, so astronauts can reasonably get in trouble whilst trying to land their ship. And finally, it's not on the list here, but it is a big, horrible, dusty planet with, with nothing there. It's, you know, this one we've got here, kind of made for us, kind of designed alongside of us uh, because of evolution. This is a big, horrible, dusty one. Do, you, do we really... It's not the best idea. Okay, thanks. That's it. Bye. Number nine, radiations. The single greatest and most obvious challenge is all of the radiation, both solar and cosmic, that the astronauts will have to be exposed to over the course of an entire mission. The greatest dangers include the risk of prolonged cancer and its effects due to exposure to both interplanetary radiation during the Mars transit and then surface radiation during extended surface stays. Then the effect of radiation causes improper brain coordination function and other brain-related diseases, all of which are probably going to make it quite difficult to get on with having a lovely new life on Mars. Number eight, microgravity. There's also the physical toll of long-term exposure to a microgravity environment. In microgravity, astronauts can float in their spacecraft or outside on a spacewalk. Heavy objects float around easily, and for example, astronauts can move equipment weighing hundreds of thousands of pounds with their fingertips. In situ, it's all very useful, but we don't really know what the long-term effects of it are, and uh, they might not be good for our skeletons and organs. Number seven, sheer distance. There is sheer distance between Earth and Mars, and this becomes one reason why the Mars project at the moment is very likely to be a failure. Because of this sheer distance, launch windows between Earth and Mars only occur every two years when our planets are at the closest in their orbits to each other. During these windows, a spacecraft can make the journey from Earth to Mars in 150 to 300 days, about five to 10 months, and these distances involved also create problems where astronaut safety and power generation are concerned. Number six, the Mars approach and orbital insertion. Mars orbit insertion sounds like something rude you might do with a chocolate bar, but actually it was the point in the mission when Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter arrived just short of Mars, fired onboard rockets to slow its speed relative to the planet, and then was captured into a long, looping orbit. Now, designed to study Mars from orbit and serve as a communications relay from the Mars Polar Lander and Deep Space Probes, the Mars Climate Orbiter was unsuccessful due to a navigation error caused by a failure to translate English units into metric. Number five, communications. It's hard enough getting them food and drinks along the way, but even communication is very difficult when sending people to Mars. So if the astronauts get in trouble at that time, they can't call anyone to help. And in severe cases of trouble, it can just mean the death of an astronaut slash astronauts. When we actually reach Mars and get onto the surface, then there's no communication. And even when we've actually landed on Mars and they're on the surface, in the case of any emergency situation, we can't bring people back. Even if we can communicate back to Earth, it's going to take a while to send any more crisps. Why am I obsessed with crisps today? In America, you call them chips, which we call potato stuff. It's, it's fine, don't worry about it. Number four, isolation. Humans are social creatures, and the psychological effect of having a crew almost completely isolated causes nervous conditions and astronauts can't work properly in the event they get in this situation. This factor also currently, until we can get around this, does contribute to the fact that Mars projects are doomed to fail at this stage. Number three, psychological issues. Where to begin? Well, for starters, there's the psychological toll of being confined to a spacecraft cabin with the other astronauts, let alone on your own. 
There have also been instances of psychological effects where astronauts experience high levels of anxiety, insomnia, and depression, which is kind of understandable. If you think about it, you're just trapped in a very small box in the void for months. Nothing around you, just the blackness of the void. Kind of makes sense. It's not a holiday, is it? Number two, astronaut health. The fact that astronauts will be spending several months in deep space creates all kinds of risks for their physical and mental health. Kind of important that the people who get there are close to being the same people who you sent out, or at least have all of their limbs or marbles attached. Number one, spacecraft and fuel management. During windows, a spacecraft can make the journey from Earth to Mars in about five to ten months. Now, this makes resupply missions impractical since astronauts cannot wait that long to receive much needed shipments of fuel, food, and other supplies. You can take along some crisps, but it's not going to last for ten months. Let's be reasonable. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching another top media video. Don't forget to hit that very important bell icon, the subscribe button, and to support us on Patreon. As they say, pennies make pounds, and your support would go a very long way for our channel.